In this lecture, we shall see how to download the Padre Perl IDE, which is useful for writing our Perl programs. So I open my Google. So after opening the Google, just type Padre Google Perl, and we are going to be provided with the link. Click the first link, and here we have the Padre the Perl IDE to download here. Click on here. And we are available with different types of versions for the different operating systems. Uh, for Windows, we had EWIM Perl, Perl Linux, for Mac operating systems, and so on. We are going to download the DWM Perl, which comes with the Strawberry Perl, and all the required CPAN modules will be embedded in that. So let us click on DWM Perl. The version is uh, 5.14. And here is the link. Click on it. And let me choose the path to soar. So the download would take a couple of minutes. Once the download is done, we are going to start the installation. Before we go with, uh, before the download gets completed, uh, let us check whether the Perl is present exactly in our system. Click on Start. In the Run prompt, you have uh, you can type CMD, or as the simple shortcut is Windows R and type cmd and press enter key the command prompt appears and type over the perl perl and we see that the perl is not recognized as an internal or external command because we haven't installed it let us uh, get our software so we see that the download has been done okay let us double click it and click on run the installation would begin in a couple of minutes. Uh, actually, the entire copy is of just only 47 MB. But on uh, installation, it will take almost 300 MB for us. And click on next. By default, it, it gets installed in C drive. Accept it and click on next. Next. And finally, install. It would take almost just a minute or a two for the installation to get completed. Yes, we are done with installation. Now click on finish. Now once again we shall check our uh, whether the Perl has been successfully installed or not. I am pressing Windows R and typing CMD to open my command prompt. And let us type PRL minus V. So you can see that the Perl has been successfully installed. And I get the Perl with Perl 5 with version 14 and my sub version as 2. Let us now open our Padre. IDE okay so I'm exiting this click on start and you can see here Padre IDE I'm clicking on all programs and you can find DWIM Perl I am making it as a shortcut onto my desktop right click on it send to desktop create shortcut so that next time you find it easy to uh, access the thing here is my Perl IDE you can observe Double click on it. A pile Perl ID has opened up. This is our uh, window that is going to come up. Okay, uh, let us uh, start with the file new and we are going to start with the scripting Perl script and it is going to give us a default program and not to run the entire program. I'm going act, we have to save it. File save. I'm going to take it up my C drive itself where I'm going to store it with good file name. New folder Perl programs. Here I'm going to take it as my test script and every Perl program should end with the saving with p dot dot pl or all plx and I'm saving it and we are successfully saved our program and in order to run the program you have here run and the shortcut is f5 you can run script 
and you can see hello world has been printed accordingly what here we have print statement hello world if you want to write some other statement in this particular statement and copying it hello friends this is the statement so now we have to get printed these two statements let us again run the code I'm saving the code run and you can see hello world hello friends yeah, it's a very simple using with this IDE we can uh, write the programs very simpler and it would make us to debug the code and run the run and get the outputs much easier and even this can be done even from the command prompt let me show you the process uh, press Windows R let us open our command prompt once again and uh, I on CD backslash okay I had uh, uh, we had stored our program in Perl uh, Perl programs. So change directory to PRL Perl. I ta I press on tab so that we get the entire uh, location Perl programs. And if you click on DIR, and we can find our program test p test rib dot pl. Now we have to execute that program. Just type PRL Perl TST, and I tap tab. And our code comes and press enter and you can see hello world and hello friends has been completely shown and finally we shall see in the next lecture then more programs on Perl thank you